Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation on grace. Today is the 8th of April. I'd also like to read in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 2. The tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of the fool gushes folly. So we, we have been talking about the grace of God and the wisdom of God. God in his grace gives us wisdom, so we will use our mouth to speak for him. This morning we are studying the in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, when Jesus said that we are the salt, you are the salt of the, the, uh, the, the earth and the light of the world. And we live here in, the, in this part of France, in the southwest uh, of, of France, in the Basque country. And um, near here, near my village, there is a village called Espelette, where they produce a, a chili. It comes from Central America. They came on the 16th century, it seems. And then it is it's not as strong as chili, and it gives a very nice uh, flavor to your dishes. It's well known here in France, this famous chili from uh, the Basque country. And uh, we are talking about the salt and how Paul says that our words should be filled with grace and seasoned with the salt but also with the piment d'Espelette. It's not too strong, but it's, it's strong enough to give that nice flavor. Our words should be seasoned like that, because it will adorn knowledge. People will be willing to know God when they listen to what you are saying and the way you speak. And Solomon, in, for, for Solomon in the book of Proverbs and in the other book that he wrote, the way you speak shows that you are a wise person. It is by your speech that you will prove that you have the knowledge of God. Let's read two more texts in Proverbs, the 10, chapter 10 and verse 18. Whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spreads slander is a fool. We are stupid when we spread slander. Instead of uh, spreading the good news, we are spreading slander. And that is terrible. And it, it shows that we are not wise. And then Proverbs chapter 15, verse 8, 28. The heart of the righteous waits its answers, but the mouth of the wicked gushes evil. So we think before we speak. And that's, that's, that's the quality of a righteous person. Paul says in, the, in Romans chapter 5, verse, verse 1, that being justified by faith, we have peace with God. God has justified us in Christ. So now we are righteous before God's eyes. So when we become righteous, and we know that that's the work of God's grace, every time we speak, we think before we do so. We wait he says, the answers we are going to give. And that's the heart of a righteous person. We just don't say any, everything that comes to our mind because you know that once you say it, it's gone. And it's like a seed. It's going to, to, to bear, bear fruit, especially if it falls on the right soil. And it often does. So, may God help you and help us all to understand that when you, we are righteous and we have received God's grace and God's wisdom, we speak with le piment d'Espelette, we speak with salt, and we think, we wait our words before we say them. God bless you.